they're off. They race away. Then a mile and a half, basically, the trip for this Unibet 15 to go handicap. They left the stalls. Glenn again was a little slower than the other runners out of the stalls, but in touch with them. Irish legend has dropped behind him to be the back marker. Is in yellow Annandale around the outside of Pied Piper. Frankie Dottori against the rail, who was in front very early on. Behind these, orange of King's Prince in blue, Siskiny, and in red and white, wide of those is Vina Bay. Uh, purple jacket Khaleesi races in company with Fabulous, uh, pink sleeves up round the outside of runners, and in company with those, a pale jacket of Pleasant Man. The maroon and yellow of Glen again is just ahead of Recovery Run in light blue colours. The royal blue and yellow is best turned out when a chase the dollar. He's got Irish legend in mainly white colours and a very pale jacket of light blue and yellow of Nagano about a half length behind him. But it is Pied Piper who leads the way as they head down the back straight. About a length, uh, maybe a length and a half ahead now. Annandale running in second and close up is King's Prince in third place. Uh, Blue Jacket James Doyle on the favourite. Siskiny holds fourth at the moment and Pleasant Man is very close to him with Kieran Schumacher running in five. And then comes Khaleesi just hidden a little bit with Vina Bay red and white colours for uh, Kieran O'Neill right around the outside of runners as they get down to the halfway stage. Fabulous and Chase the Dollar are the next pair. Glen again is behind these. Irish legend is next and racing a little ahead then of the Gano, who's just the back marker now, and in company with those is Recovery Run, also at the rear of the field. There'll be ten lengths behind Frankie Dottori and Pied Piper who is already heading down the hill on the way to home now, and leads very narrowly to the white face of Annandale, who's come through almost to join him. Siskiny and King's Prince together in third and fourth places, and Khaleesi in purple on the outside of Pleasant Man in fifth who still travels strongly. Two lengths behind those chase the daughter and Glen again tomorrow. Look out to the extreme right. Nagano launched from the back of the field making good headway. And they head down now to the final two and a half furlongs. Pied Piper and Annandale together. Siskani is two lengths behind them in third trying to pick up. Nagano on the right has moved into a share of third position. Not many more coming from the back. Recovery run is though as Nagano and David Egan has joined Siskani. Pied Piper with those. Uh, they're followed then by Annandale but this is Nagano. David Egan now with over left advantage. Siskiny in the raw blue jacket is fighting back and in there clear from recovery run. They race towards the line. Nagano has a very slender advantage here and holds on from last almost to first. Siskiny behind this recovery run was next. Irish legend has moved into a fourth position late on and then Pied Piper. They're off. They race away. Seven furlongs. The red jacket of Highfield Princess bounces out of the stalls, leads them early on. Last Empire with the noseband, Murab Moore, and also Isabella Giles are in prominent positions. Best turned out winner, Dan Dalla. A white jacket goes freely on the heels of these. Agincourt is next, just in behind. Bounce the Blues. Grey jacket and black cap. She's halfway down the field. Blue sleeves of Helvetia against the running rail. A green and white cap of Vadrim is next. Then Juice Garan on the outside of Onassis and Lullaby Moon is the back marker they're running towards the home turn Jason Hart in red jacket Highfield Princess got her over from a high draw to lead on the rails Isabella Giles in yellow and blue in second place there's a length and a half behind those Dan Dalla races off the rail last empire on the running rail Murder Moore a violet jacket between those Ashen calls the extreme right white sleeves and pink cap bounce the blues in grey and blue just ahead of her Helvetia blue cap on the running rail, pink and blue and Nassis is trying to find a way through Juska and Lullaby uh, Moon are towards the rear of the field, they're heading down now with just over a furlong to go and as they do so it's still Highfield Princess and Last Empire together, Onassis has moved into third position Bounce the Blues is coming, Isabella Giles is still there, Last Empire and Danny Tart hope the lead is well inside the final furlong Highfield Princess in second, the pink jacket Onassis coming home strongly, Last Empire won. Onassis and Highfield Princess tight between those second and third from the last back of the field, Lullaby Moon in fourth. 
they're off. They race away. Kabu just rears a little bit coming out of the stores and he gets a bump from Chipotle as they get away. Booney was the fastest into stride towards the right with on the left uh, our boy Will. Nymphadora, very prominent. Chim Gallon is there as well. Kingboard star behind those. Fear B will be about five from the right. Black and white jacket travels strongly. Chipotle in red is in behind him. Then Kabu and Mojo Maker and Swayze with a white face towards the right is towards the back of the field as they come down already to halfway in the Markel Mulcom and it's Booney and Fearby together Nymphadora the bronze jacket off towards the left in behind those is Armour and Kingboard Star Chipotle in red chart colours trying to get their Kabu behind those Booney holding them at the moment as they head down inside the last furlong but here's Armour against the stand side running rail Fearby in the black and white colours has a chance as well Booney to Armour has gone past him Ryan Moore on Armour streaking clear oh it's one by three or four Armour wins Fairby second Booney in third and Nymphadora home in fourth they're off they race away as they leave the starting stores against the running rail order of Australia with next to him poetic flair Century Dream in green colours runs prominently caught out wide is alcohol free she's just preceded by Tilsit with the pink cap then Lopi Fernandez a white cap ahead of the grey snow lantern she's just in front of uh, Do Hale and Space Traveller is at the rear of the field so they settle down Ryan Moore on order of Australia leads to James Doyle, the green jacket on Century Dream in second place. Kevin Manning on Poetic Flair is in third place. On the right, Tilsit, Kieran Schumacher, pink cap. Uh, against the running rail, Lopi Fernandez, a white cap for Frankie Dottori, and then Ashim Murphy on Alcohol Free, caught up on the outside of the grey, Snow Lantern and Jamie Spencer. Duhale and Jim Crowley is next, and then as they come to the halfway point into the straight, Space Travel and Danny Toto at the back markers. Century Dream is committed for home, and gone on here. Leads by over a length now to Ward of Australia in second place. Poetic Flair coming through to try and take second position but uh, having a bit of trouble to do so. Till sits behind those uh, then comes Lopi Fernandez alcohol free being brought down the centre of the course but it's the green jacket of Century Dream. Here is Poetic Flair to join him. Alcohol free putting in her challenge. Ward of Australia and Lopi Fernandez are the next pair at the furlong pole. It's the white jacket of Poetic Flair but nearest to us, alcohol free, the filly has gone through to take it up in the closing stages, tight between them, alcohol free has a very narrow advantage to Poetic Flair, alcohol free under Sheen Murphy have won the Qatar Sussex, Poetic Flair in second, Snow Lantern behind those in third to Hale and Order of Australia the next pair is the slowest into stride. Lorfela on the right in black and orange colours, quickly away. On the left is Frank Keller. Between him in the spots, Mary of Modena and then the red jacket of Canonized. Grey colours illustrating favourite runs fifth in the early part of the race. Nose banded Anadora is next and Willoughby Bay is in company with her as they head down towards the halfway stage. Lorfela and uh, Frank Keller, the front pair, leading up by a length. Towards the left is illustrating in the grey jacket making significant progress towards the leaders. Canonized is behind these. Anadora is next and then Mary of Modena and Willoughby Bay at the back of the field as now Frank Keller goes on. Illustrating comes to challenge. Anadora with the noseband, a big challenge. Canonized in behind those. Illustrating and Danny Tato though have taken it up now and with 100 yards to go have settled it. Illustrating wins in good style. Goes on to win two or three lengths ahead. Anadora and Canonized together a tight thing second and third. Willoughby eBay is home in fourth. They're off. Uh, Freya gets out very quickly from her stall of number five and sits in front in the early part of the race. Uh, Keloise in the green and yellow jacket and Kaleidoscope in purple run in second and third. Prado, pale jacket, pink and green, is going through into third position as I speak and then comes uh, the purple and light blue jacket of Seattle Rock. Uh, next is Timeless Soul, pale jacket, a black cap who races just ahead of Percy's pride in the yellow and black jacket. 
Bride and Auntie Bridie with the green sleeves is at the rear as they continue their journey right down to the far end of the course. Ben Curtis on Freya leads the green and yellow Akeloise Rob Hornby in second place and Jamie Spencer on Prado is back behind these in third. Then comes Kaleidoscope, Sir Vesta de Souza up on the inside of Seattle Rock, Ryan Moore with the light blue cap. About a length and a half off those is David Egan against the rails on Timeless Soul. Then Luke Morris in yellow and black on Percy's Pride as they come to halfway and begin the turn back towards home. Tom Marquand on Auntie Bridey, green sleeves and green cap is fractionally the back marker of these fillers as they come downhill towards the home straight. Freya, the best part of two lengths ahead now. Akeloise tracks her in second place, then one off the running rail is Prado, uh, just in front of Kaleidoscope. Seattle Rock is a length, maybe a length and a half behind those, about level with her now is Timeless Soul with a black cap. Uh, extreme right coming with her run is Percy's Pride, looking for a hat-trick. There's Philly, the yellow and black Jackie's making headway. Auntie Bridie is the back marker. They can now see the two furlong pole. Freya continues to lead. Akeloise, though, is almost level. Timeless Soul has moved into third behind this kaleidoscope and then on the extreme right is Percy's Pride is getting to them. Uh, she's in company with Seattle Rock as they head down towards the last furlong. The green and yellow are Luis takes it up now. Goes on to Freya in second place. Timeless Soul nearest to us is moving through into second place but she's two or three lengths behind Akeloise. Running towards the line Akeloise continues to be in front. Timeless Soul is gaining but Akeloise will hold her. Akeloise wins. Time Timeless Soul in second, Freya in third, and Percy's Pride was home in fourth. They're off. They race away. Seven furlongs is the chip here, and Desert Doctor was slightly hampered as they got away. Zhui Feng, Epic Endeavor, International Dream, Magical Wish, and Hieronymus, the first ones to show. Canagat and Tintoretto, and Be Prepared, and Magical Wish in behind these. And then comes Sunset Breezes, about two from the right there, White Jacket and Dark Sleeves. Then comes Dutch Decoy, who's against the running rail. At this stage, King's Knight is the back marker, Queen Sergeant La Makina and also Desert Doctor, the back markers. But Canagat, who had the one stall, has gone through to lead here with Jamie Spencer. Hieronymus in the black and pink in second. A pink jacket, Tintoretto on the running rail in third. Epic Endeavour, red sleeves, goes nicely. Runs fourth at the moment, off towards the right of picture. Zhui Feng behind these. Then comes a Dutch decoy, and behind this is Be Prepared and Maxi Boy. A magical Wish is next from Sunset Breeze. Then towards the right is International Dream. La Makina on the extreme right as they head down to the two marker. Tintoretto and Hieronymus. Hieronymus going on. Tintoretto in second place. Here's Sunset Breeze down the centre. Epic Endeavour behind this. Be prepared as next. Hieronymus has kicked clear as they come to the furlong pole. Leads up now. Enough already closing on the outside. Second place at the moment is Sunset Breeze. Be prepared. A magical wish behind this. Well inside the last furlong. Hieronymus in front. The light blue of magical wish tried to bite a rival there. Hieronymus being joined by Magical Magical Wish tight between and be prepared back in third position. Sunset Breeze is next and then enough already.